Our marine cultural heritage is the story of our nation's cultural connections to the sea. This includes the places and resources used by Native American cultures to sustain themselves, as well as the shipwrecks and other remnants of our nation's long history with the sea. Many traditional cultures live near our oceans and Great Lakes. These waters supplied resources for making medicines, jewelry, provided fur pelts for clothing and for trading, as well as food for sustenance. It was a way of my ancestors. They lived off of the ocean. That's their homes. They took care of it. They only ate what was given to them, what was provided. They never took more. Our money, the, the ancestors' money, was made from olivella shells. And so even the smallest shell had a lot of value. New maritime practices and ways of living were introduced to North America when people began immigrating from other countries. Ships traveled across oceans, the Great Lakes, and around the coastlines trading goods. Naval ships protected the coastline and the Great Lakes from invasion and smuggling. Fishing fleets supported thriving coastal communities, and research ships plied the waters for energy exploration and oceanographic data. These hidden resources tell the story of our nation's maritime history. Over centuries, storms and shoals sunk many ships, and beneath the water, embedded in the sea floor, lie traces of our past, our cultural heritage. Today, many of these areas are protected by tribal, state, or federal agencies. We call them Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs. They include shipwrecks and sunken aircraft, archaeological sites, and sites of cultural significance. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Marine Protected Area Center works toward common conservation goals for our submerged cultural sites and supports MPA managers in their cultural resource conservation efforts. Frequently, the best way to protect cultural resources is by leaving them in place or in situ and encouraging visitors to enjoy and learn from them while preserving them for future generations. Marine protected areas can conserve and celebrate traditional and continuing cultural practices, such as subsistence and ceremonial activities. I believe that marine protected areas are important to us as a people, and if there are protected areas, we're assured that there will be that conservation, that survival. In the case of shipwrecks, if you restrict the resource, how can it be appreciated? It's that in situ preservation that protects the resource, allows proper interpretation, as well as proper visitation. Saving our cultural heritage preserves the knowledge of the people before us who have helped provide for and shape our future. Please protect and keep sacred our nation's maritime legacy as a gift to yourself and to your children's children. Learn more about preserving our cultural heritage resources. Explore MPA.gov.